G'day guys, I'm Lane from Trackabout. We're gonna have a quick look through our Safari SV. It's the smallest, most lightweight trailer we build, weighing in at 950 kilos and capable of carrying more than its own weight. But just because it's small doesn't mean you can't take everything with you. It's capable of carrying your boats, your bikes, your outboards. You can fit the big 12 foot tent base camp to it, or you can fit the touring series. Come on through and we'll have a look around at some of the features it offers and some of the benefits of this trailer. Being a lightweight trailer, the ball weight on this one's about 80 kilos as it leaves the factory. That includes your dual battery system, your fridge, freezer, and the huge kitchen that comes with it. Fully off-road hitch, three and a half ton rated, over-engineered like the rest of our range. It offers 360 degrees rotation so the trailer can articulate at any angle while keeping your car nice and steady. And a huge stone guard which is designed to deflect the stones back into the ground and not into the back window of the tow vehicle. The mud flaps hanging off that then protect the undercarriage of the actual trailer. Moving back towards the powder-coated aluminium toolbox, it's lightweight and super strong. This one here we've fitted with our Max Trax mounts, which are lockable and capable of carrying four Max Trax, and it's also got our Wabasto diesel unit and ducted heating inside the camper. As you can see in there, we've got the Red Arc battery management system. That's the Manager 30, which is a 30 amp DC to DC charger for those long drives on the road. A 240 volt mains charger, which you can plug into a generator, use as a maintenance charger at home or when you pull into a caravan park, and also a solar regulator, which will efficiently and safely charge your batteries on board. The two batteries that come standard are 120 amp AGM deep cycle batteries, which is more than enough to light up your campsite and keep your beers cold. Running off the battery management system, we've got our Wabasto diesel hot water and ducted heating system. It's got a snap-on vent on the side of the trailer, which seals off nicely to keep the dust from the water out while you're traveling, but allows the system to breathe when set up at camp. Underneath that, you've got your mixer tap to set the shower temperature. You've got your shower outlet, and this one's also been fitted with the optional creek suction as well. So you can shower as long as you want, as long as you've got an external water system nearby. That's hooked into the onboard pump, which allows you to pull water from an external source to fill your water tanks for shower as long as you want, to wash the car down or wash the dog at camp. Coming down the side of the Safari trailer, you can see we've got stone protection on all the leading edges. That's made of stainless steel and rivets on with the stainless steel rivets. The construction of our trailer is the same as all our range. It's an Australian zinc canal steel, which we laser cut and bend into shape. And our team of welders weld up the body, and then we hand seal every single trailer inside and out. That stops any rust issues, but also stops water and dust ingress inside the trailer, which we believe is very important. This trailer also features the mudguard box. It's a great place to store your dirty recovery gear as it's easy to get to, but it's also lockable, which means no one can steal your valuable items. The Safari SV also features three jerry can holders so you can keep additional water and fuel on board. We've also fitted this trailer with our tilting boat rack. It's a great design that folds everything that's loaded on it out of the way, allowing for a quick and easy setup. That means every time you pull into camp, you're not unloading the boat to set up your tent. It can also carry surfboards, kayaks, fishing rods, extra mate swags, whatever you don't want to store in the car or in the trailer, chuck it up on top and fold it out of the way once you get to camp. The design of the boat rack also features a lockable cam mechanism, which takes any movement out of the boat rack over corrugated terrain. Round the back of the trailer, you've got your spare wheel mounted to the tailgate. It's on a greasable pin, so it's designed to handle the weight of the spare wheel over rough terrain. You've also got LED signal lights on the back and quick connect fittings for your kitchen lines. Round the driver's side of the trailer, you've got your rear filler point. That's plumbed directly to the rear tank with a breather pipe, and you've also got your external water outlet. That allows you to access water nice and easily without having to open the kitchen. Next up, we've got our two four and a half kilo gas bottle holders. You've got one behind the mud guard and one in front. They're plumbed through a quick connect fitting and a gas regulator straight to your kitchen. We've also got another lockable mud guard storage box on this side. Forward of the body of the trailer, we've also got a lockable pole box. Again, that's sealed with automotive pinch weld seals and still has stainless steel protection on its leading edges. As you can see on the underbody of the trailer, there's no vulnerable plumbing or electrical lines. The chassis itself is made from Australian steel. We cut it, drill it and weld it and then hot dip galvanise it. That means the inside and the outside is fully treated to stop any rust issues. It's also a lot more stone resistant than your painted and coated chassis. The standard suspension on this trailer is a nine leaf Alco Outback Rebound system. It's rated to two tonne and features 12 inch electric bags. On this particular trailer, we've fitted it with the vehicle components two tonne independent suspension. It's a quad shock design that allows for a little bit extra wheel travel and a softer ride over the harsher terrain. All our suspension is made in Australia. We can also match the wheels and tyres on your trailer to your tow vehicle. This means you have interchangeable spares and if worse comes to worse, you can take a spare off the trailer and fit it to your car. The way we construct these trailers is much like a motor vehicle. The body is held to the chassis with a series of mounts, which allows us to get a hard wearing galvanised finish underneath and a nice hard wearing finish on top for the body. The standard BPA free 85 litre water tank is set into the chassis. This allows for a high ground clearance, but also a low centre of gravity. Everything is plumbed in food safe hosing, which means you won't have that plastic taste when you're drinking out of the taps on board. Now we've had a look around the outside and underneath this trailer, we're gonna show you how this camper trailer has changed camping with its three minute setup.
now you've seen how quick and easy our Touring Series sets up with its patented awning and pole system, we're going to have a look around and see the features and the options we can fit to your dream camper. At the end of a long day's drive when you're touring, the last thing you want to do is be sleeping on a small foam mattress in a rooftop tent. And that's exactly what we've focused on here. A queen size mattress with plenty of comfort, a heap of level ventilation, canvas flaps on the inside, and a super fast setup is the perfect combination for the best touring camper trailer on the market. On this trailer, we've also fitted the Wabasto ducted diesel heating unit. There's two vents that heat through the bed deck, allowing hot air to come inside your tent area and warm it up nicely. This is all run off a diesel unit inside the front toolbox, switched from inside the tent. So if it gets cold at 3am in the morning, you simply flick a switch, turn the fan on, and you've got hot air inside your tent. Like all our trailers, we've put a lot of time and thought into making our options modular. So any feature you like on our bigger trailers can be fitted to our little Safari Tourer and make the perfect camper trailer for you. From the bed head and the fans and the lights, to the internal lighting kit, hot waters, en suites, stereo systems, boat racks, bike racks, and outboard racks, we can do every single thing on this trailer. Basing our designs off our standard base camp tent that we've been building for over 20 years, we've built this touring series. It offers the height, the coolness, and the comfort of our bigger tent, but in a real quick setup. The internal bow system is gas assisted, which means it steadies itself out while set up, so it's an easy one person setup. The height in there keeps it nice and cool in those warm summer months, and we also offer a tropical roof to keep it cooler in summer and keep the condensation out in winter. The only two poles you need to adjust are the two over the bed awning. That allows for a perfect pack up and a perfect setup. Access to the queen size bed areas through this nice compact aluminium ladder. We make these in house, they're nice and sturdy and very comfortable. On the side of the trailer we've also got a lockable mudguard storage box. Again, that's somewhere you can throw your valuables if you're out in the bush or down at the beach. The lighting above me is supplied from our flexible LED lighting kit. It plugs into the onboard 12 volt system and provides enough light for out here under the awning area and out inside the kitchen. That'll light up the whole camp for you with minimal power consumption. The Safari Tourer features the exact same kitchen you'll find across our range. The reason we're able to build such a large scale kitchen is thanks to its composite aluminium design. It's lightweight and designed to flex. With the stainless steel kitchens, you'd be worried about salt welds breaking or fractures in the stainless steel. Come on through and we'll have a look at some of the key features of this kitchen. Following the trend of quality manufacturing, we've decided to go with the Evercool 60 litre fridge freezer. This comes standard in all our trailers. It's built to track about specs, so it's got this custom paint job, the track about sticker, the black gasket, stainless steel latches, and best of all, the Danfoss compressor. The beauty of this fridge is it's well insulated and has a low current draw. It can either be run as a fridge or a freezer, or a combination of both. All the appliances we fit in our kitchens are the Smev stainless steel range. This one here features the standard two burner stove, which has a quick connect fitting to a gas regulator to the onboard gas system. Next to it, we've got our stainless steel sink with integrated brace pipe and built-in water pump. This trailer also features a large inbuilt pantry. So you've got quick access to a bit of extra bench space, but you've got a condiments drawer, a nice deep pots and pans drawer, plus a large pull out pantry in behind here. One of the major benefits of this kitchen is the amount of bench space. As you can see, we've got some above the pantry, you've got plenty around the kitchen, but we've also fitted this one with the optional kitchen return bench. It doubles your bench space in a matter of seconds and it has two great usable positions. It can be pulled out on the side of the road for lunchside stopovers and it's a great place to prepare dinner or have some sundown drinks as well. For a bit of background music when camping, you can't go past your Fusion Marine system. It's Bluetooth enabled and compatible with an iPod and it also features two marine grade speakers. So they're waterproof and designed to be outdoors. For lighting in our outside kitchen area, we've got our flexible LED lighting kit. It sets up in a matter of seconds and plugs into your spare 12 volt socket in the kitchen here. What really sets this trailer apart is the integrated pole design in the awning. Out here, every single pole you need is built into the trailer. It simply pulls out and locks into place, which means you can set your awning up in under a minute. The beauty of the Touring Series is it's a tent designed to set up as much or as little as you want. Simply zip the walls on. It also features a zip-in bucket style floor. So if you need space for the kids or for the dogs, zip the walls on, zip the floor and you've got yourself a conventional trailer. And if it's just the two of you going away, leave it nice and open and drop down the privacy screen. If you pull up somewhere really nice and you want to stay for a few more days, zip one or two walls on and you've got yourself a nice private inside area as well. Rather than following the trend of detachable kids rooms, which take a long time to set up, We've integrated one into our bed awning. It's very similar to the base camp trailer which we've been building for over 20 years, but you simply zip the walls on and you end up with a seven by six and a half foot living area inside. It's got a bucket style floor, low ventilation for the kids if they're sleeping in there, and it's completely sealed and waterproof. 
As you can see, our Touring Series is one of the most versatile campers on the market. With its small footprint and large living area, it ticks every single box. It's quick to set up, you can take all your toys with you. Your boat, your bike, your outboards, you're not leaving anything at home. You can set it up for families, you can set it up for friends, or you can set it up as a couple's night away. Jump online at www.trackabout.com.au, jump on the build your own trailer section and build your dream camper.